Hey guys, Matthew with Parkway Business Solutions here with another Ledger Sync video. Wanting to make a video specific about QuickBooks Desktop and the right way and the wrong way to import information, especially for first time users of the software. QuickBooks Desktop is pretty particular about what type of files will be able to go in and how they need to go in. Matter of fact, there's even distinctions between the QuickBooks for Canada, QuickBooks for the United States, and, and for the other editions that are out there. So if you're trying out LedgerSync and you're running into issues where you just can't get your, your QBO file to import, we're going to go through a couple of those. Let's start off by going to LedgerSync's website and we'll go through the process that it would take to download your QBO file. With desktop, very important, they do take QBO files, they do not take OFX files, that being the file extension at the end. Now here's the, the little secret. Most of the time, if you have an OFX, just go in, hit the rename, change the extension from OFX to .qbo and it'll work just fine as long as the file itself was okay. But fortunately with LedgerSync you have the option to export in quite a few different formats. Whether it's going to be Excel, your QuickBooks would be your QBO, OFX, um, your CSV, and your IIF. The one we're going to stick to primarily is going to be the QBO for QuickBooks. So assume you've come in and you've taken advantage of the, the ability to go in and modify the descriptions, especially for your checks, um, that can be a very powerful tool because it gives you a way to get information into the system on those checks that if you do it right, you won't have to do extra double data, the dead, excuse me, extra data entry um, later on. Uh, so we'll come up here. I'm just gonna go export to QuickBooks and as it cycles up, it'll get ready to download it. There's a very, very important th distinction that I like to suggest to everybody. I know that the habit for many is to just say, hey, I'm gonna click okay and to open this, but you really don't wanna do that. The reason being is, unless you are positive you're in the right file and you only have one bank account, there's always the potential you're gonna try to import that file into the wrong account. Save the file, go into QuickBooks desktop instead and do the import the appropriate way. So from here, we're back into desktop and there's two different two different methods to get to the same exact place. Some people like to go up to the file menu and they'll go into their utilities and then they'll go over to import and then they'll do web connect files. That is absolutely 100% correct. Another option that you can do, I find it a little easier, go to banking, bank feeds, and then to import web connect file. Here you'll choose the, the appropriate file that you just downloaded for that account. We'll grab that real quick and click open. And it's gonna give us the option. We've got two choices. We can either use an existing QuickBooks account by selecting the top choice and using the drop down, Or you can create a new QuickBooks account if you need to as well. So we'll select the right account, click continue. And we get our message that your web connect has completed successfully. We're going to click OK. And now we're able to see all the transactions. It shows that we had 49 transactions that were pulled in. We'll click on the transaction list. And you have a full listing of all the different items that were pulled in. The nice thing about doing it this way is if you have already created rules, taking advantage of the, uh, the Bank Feed Center, uh, you can see the bottom ones here. Those are items that we've already created memorized transactions for the rules for so the manual entry is is immediately reduced spend a little time putting that in you can really take advantage of it and again because of ledger sync the ability that you can stipulate what goes into the memo if you take advantage of that you can really diminish um, the amount of time it's going to take you to do a large amount of data entry if you've got additional questions or looking for some advice, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us directly at info at parkwaymail.com. And as always, here's wishing you a very successful week.